Before we get into details on how neurons themselves work, it's important to understand the structure of the wider nervous system, as this tells us a lot about how the neurons are connected together and how they make the whole system operate. The nervous system can be divided into two great divisions. The central nervous system, or CNS, which consists of the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, or PNS, which is everything else. The PNS itself has several subdivisions, for example, the entric nervous system, which controls the passage of food through the gut, and the autonomic nervous system, which controls involuntary systems like the heart. However, we'll keep it simple in this discussion and just look at the input and outputs in a more general way. The first part of the system is that which senses the outside world. Many neurons have evolved special sensory functions. The rods and cones, which are optical sensors in our eyes, touch, heat and pain sensors in our skin, and many others also. Such neurons are called sensory or afferent, and they pass their signals on to the central nervous system. Once in the central nervous system, the signal is further processed by other neurons, which are called interneurons. Many simpler responses, for example reflexes, are processed by the spinal cord, but more complex ones, particularly if they require voluntary action, are processed by the brain. In the final stage, the process signal is output to affect muscles, glands, or other bodily responses by output neurons, which are also called efferent or motor neurons. This system is shown on a diagram on the screen. It should be noted that the system in higher animals is extremely modular, with different nervous functions allocated to different parts of the system. Even high-level functions can go on subconsciously in different networks without the conscious brain being aware of them. It is worth at this point doing some background study on your own into the general anatomy of the nervous systems of humans, and comparing this with that in lower animals, for example arthropods or jellyfish.